Welcome to lab number two. We are going to be looking at stratigraphy in this lab. And most of the exercises will be out of uh, chapter five in your lab manual. And um, let's look at the first thing that I'm going to ask you to do. It says, on the stratigraphic column on the next page, in the handout, you need to subdivide rocks into formations based on both their lithology, the rock type, and then if you see any noticeable erosional features. And uh, I have attached uh, a document to D2L that lets you know what the standard geological symbols for different rock types are. So when you're given this, right, we have this stratigraphic section, and down here there's some examples where they've already broken out some of the rock formations. And that's really what you're going to do. You're going to look at this, look at the rock types that are shown, and like I said, all of these symbols are standard, like these dots that look like this mean a cross-bedded sandstone. The bricks that you see, that means limestone. And when you see a U like that, that means there's an unconformity right there. So that would be a great place to break out a rock formation where there's an unconformity. Or another great place would be we have this very distinctive cross-bedded sandstone right there. So what you will do, you'll go up this stratigraphic section and break out the unique formations that you see and then you will also uh, name those formations. Obviously, we, can't, we don't know where this was measured, so you can't actually um, um, name it based on geography. So just use your imagination. Give these things names. So uh, remember, when you name formations, if it's a single rock type, this would be something sandstone. But if it's a rock type that's mixed, right, if there's not just one distinctive uh, lithology, if there's maybe both some sandstone and some mudstone, you would just name the rock the blank formation. And that's what you're doing right there. Now, one of the next things that you do is, um, let's see, you are going to, um, here, this is, let me, let me get this straightened out here. Uh, lab, uh, lab manual exercise six, part A, you are going to correlate some stratigraphy. And it says using the formation contacts and the formation names, correlate the formations between the four stratigraphic sections on the next page. So that looks like this. Now, I know this might be a little bit difficult to read, so if you um, need to, of course, go into your lab manual where it's in color and will be a little easier to read there. But you are going to correlate these. So pay attention to names of formations. For example, we have the Navajo sandstone here and the Navajo sandstone there. The way you correlate this then is you take the base to the base and then the top to the top. And you're basically then saying this rock unit is the same as this one. And then we see the Navajo sandstone all the way over here. So the base to the base and the top to the top. Now do your best correlating those. By the way, these are real life stratigraphic sections um, from uh, Utah and Colorado. So you're actually doing some real geology work. Now after you do that, you will be answering some questions about those stratigraphic sections. It says, uh, let's see, List the name of the formation or rock type of the rock unit directly beneath the Chin Li formation in stratigraphic section one. So you go to stratigraphic section one, you'll come down here and say, oh, here's the Chin Li formation, and then you will tell me what rock is directly underneath that. So that's what some of those questions will be right there. Now, other questions 
uh, that you'll have. You're going to be doing another real life strat um, stratigraphic cross section. We're going to correlate the lithologic units, so that means we're going off rock type, uh, between 15 stratigraphic sections on this page. So what you ignore the letters that are on there and just pay attention to the rock type where we'd be like okay sandstone here sandstone here those connect there's a sand uh, this is mudstone mudstone that connects we have this little sandstone that connects okay see how we do that now what about here where we can be like all right we've got limestone here limestone here those connect and sand and sand, those connect. But then you're like, what do I do with this? This doesn't, this, this shale doesn't exist over here. You just pinch that out. You basically show that it disappears somewhere between those rock formations. So do your best on those as well, and then answer a few questions about that. Um, and of course, if you have problems with this lab or questions with this lab, I'm always here to help, so just contact me.